The fans' revolt as Dan and Dave breathed dragon fire all over the expectations of the masses. But was it really that bad? Right now on Miscast Entertainment. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Head to the chopper! off to my left I'm going to make it run off again. This is my You're going to need a bigger boat. Welcome back, you miscast miscreants, to another episode of Miscast Entertainment for Game of Thrones, the final season. With your dual hosts Skyping in from Arizona and Miami, JJ, and the Supreme Man of Recaps. Hey, welcome to the Man of Recaps. I thought you were going to blah, too. (laughs) (laughs) And this host right here, William Davis Moore. All right, guys, it's a sad day. It's a sad day because Game of Thrones is no more. No more videos, no more fun YouTube madness. Uh, Let's get right into it. Spoilers. Let's have some thoughts. Man of recaps. Hey, I I loved it. Loved the finale. You know, it was exciting. I cried. I cheered. I was nervous. Um, You know, it was was cool. I kind of slipped. You know, I I knew that there were uh, some spoilers out there. And uh, right before the episode, I just I just had to know. So I went and I read them and I hope they were wrong, but they weren't wrong. You read so, those spoilers, man. I, I couldn't I couldn't <laughs> wait. I just couldn't do it. I saw them like six or seven times and it was like an addiction to crack. I kept like shaking, <laughs> wanting to see, but I had to pull myself back from the brink. Man. <laughs> no, man. Sometimes when you need a hit, just take the hit. <laughs> Did it ruin the episode for you, though? I mean, no, no, it didn't because I kind of wanted to know how it was going to happen. I mean, mainly with uh, Bran becoming king, but still, like the question that I have, especially for you guys here, is did Bran like plan this all along? Is is that what they're saying? Yeah, I mean, in, in my opinion, I think uh, Bran is the real evil villain of the entire show, and he's the master of the Game of Thrones because. Uh, all along, he made you think that he only saw the past, but the man clearly Doctor Strange this whole freaking thing, all the way up to the end. He's like, "Yo, I knew you're gonna make me king, so I'm here, bro." <laughs> yeah, he was he was talking like it was some sort of master plan. He he could see the future and, and tell what was gonna happen. Um, so yeah, I mean, if he did, I guess that's kind of a dick move. Although maybe <laughs> yeah. that was like of all the possible futures, maybe that was the best one. So who knows what's his deal? Like, think about his arc, you know? I mean, he starts off and he's got an enemy that comes up and then he uses his whole family to, like, kill his enemy. And then, like, he ends up taking the throne because of it. Like, think about how, like, all the things that played out and who he used to get there. He went back in time and Hodor'd the shit out of Hodor and, like, ruined his (laughs) mind to, like, carry him around the woods and shit. Like, (laughs) he did some, some evil shit if you think about it, man. Yeah. Yeah. So... Game Bowl. I know you guys were super excited about that. Did it pay off? Uh, it was okay. Um, cinematography wise, I think it was an amazing fight. Uh, cinematography of this whole season, I think, was brilliant. But uh, I don't know. It was just kind of. It was a little basic, and I would have loved if he just would have like uh, elbowed Cersei in the tit or something on her way down. <laughs> <laughs> It would have been good. I was I was super hyped for Clegane Bowl, like right back uh, in season four. You know when he was first talking about how uh, his brother burned him and how yeah. he you know wanted to face him one day, and we first got to meet the mountains' new um you know new actor, and he was so epic. I was like, yeah, this fight's gonna be sweet. But yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> I've kind of forgotten about it over the last couple seasons. So when they finally face to face, it's like, oh yeah, why? Why do these guys really hate each other so much anyway? So I wish they had uh, sort of reminded us. Of, of how awful the mountain was. I wish that he, like, killed someone else good uh, to piss Sandor off. It would have been cool. But besides that, yeah, I loved it. It was, just, you know, I'm hyped for a Clegane Bowl. The hound can hold a grudge, man. Dude, yeah. that's all he is is a big, giant walking grudge. Like, when he tells Arya to go fuck off, you know, like, don't don't die doing this shit. I feel like we missed an entire season of them riding on the road again. Like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> that she yeah. just changed her mind all of a sudden like that. Well, I think that's really what we what we lose by having only these eight episodes. There's all these all this content that we want more of. Like, I wanted a lot more of uh, Jamie and Brienne together. I wanted them to go yeah. on adventures and bang in the woods a couple more times. Um, <laughs> and this whole thing with like. Gendry and Arya, I think that's that was just so quick too. I wish there would have been a little bit more with that as well. 
I never like felt like John and Danny had any kind of chemistry whatsoever, dude. Like, mm-hmm. You're on coming out of the water like the Loch Ness fucking monster. <laughs> the greatest coincidence in movie history. <laughs> what is the deal with that, dude? Is his arc just to kill Jamie? That was his big deal. Like I, I that was just that whole scene was strange to me, man. Dude, everybody's arcs were just the, so many people's arcs were just so shitty. I mean, they uh, so many people just died for nothing. Did all these things for nothing. I don't feel like we we went in wrong directions in in most places. I feel like what really happened was we just didn't have the time to get there. The whole show was a slow burn, and then the last, say, two seasons were, like, really fast, so fast that you couldn't keep up with what the hell was happening. So, I mean, what do you you guys think is going to happen with this petition that people are signing? That's amazing. Greg was saying that uh, (laughs) he wanted to sign a petition to keep the people signing the petition of watching the final episode. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that, that would have been hilarious that would have been fitting yeah you can't just redo a show because because the fans weren't happy it's like you know the the quality some things had dropped a bit like you said i think it was a lot a lot rushed but for the most part it was still awesome you know and people are going to complain they love it so to complain george R. R. martin had told them how it was going to end so this is not like they did not know what they were doing like he gave them direction Uh, This is just how they got there, and I think they did it too fast. HBO gave them up to 10 seasons, and they turned it down. So this Mm. is totally on them for the speed of it. They got that sweet deal with doing the the Old Republic with Disney, and I think that's what they had their minds on. You know, they didn't want to... They didn't want to do any more Game of Thrones. There's only so much you can do, I guess. And you know what it's like when you give a, a show to like another showrunner. It always turns out like shit. So. <laughs> I would have I would have risked it. I would have liked yeah. to see a lot more, yeah. In yeah. hindsight. I wish they would have just bowed, bowed and, and just given it to somebody else. Uh, what about the memes, man? The memes are just getting better and better. I'm going to miss the memes. <laughs> I'm going to miss the memes. I'm going to miss my Sunday night. I'm going to miss my... Uh, Monday mornings going through the memes, so I got to find a new way to enter- entertain myself. The memes were my favorite part, dude. Like uh, the "what the fuck" videos I'm, I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, those are great, man. Freaking, I got Fantastic. one more, one more in the fucking can, and then it's done, man. So I got a couple couple questions for you guys. So Braun, it, it seemed a little odd, right? Uh, he comes in to assassinate uh, the brothers, and then he leaves, and then all of a sudden he's on the council with uh, Bran. In the books, he's a side character. He doesn't even really have any real, like, oomph at all. I actually got in a fight with somebody that because of you, damn it, JJ. <laughs> you what said, happened? You said in one of our episodes we did that he wasn't even in the books, so I just took your word for it. Uh, a, somebody told me he wasn't in the books. Apparently, he <laughs> is in the books. Just to, did you did you see him in the books? Ron is definitely in the books. Um, he's he's oh, exactly God. his character from seasons uh, like one to one to four, basically. But. Um, like in where the books ended right now, which is somewhere around season four or five, yeah. he's kind of gone up. Yeah, right after Tyrion's trial by combat, when he turns right. him down to fight for him, he does end up uh, marrying that that girl with the castle, Lawless uh, Stokeworth. And then okay. we like only hear about him like twice in the newest book. You know that it's like, oh yeah, Bronn's still alive. So we we'll see. I love Bronn being there at the end. It's kind of funny that he just like rose all the way up to be a a high lord now. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's funny for me, and it's kind of a cool council i like i like that group they assembled at the end you know did you guys buy uh danny going full anakin skywalker no it happened it happened at the wrong time i think if it would have happened after in an episode where drogon drogon got killed or when Rhaegal got killed and when they uh, severed a homegirl's head i think that would have been a great time for her to snap mm-hmm. but not when it happened when it happened i just couldn't buy it i was like how did she just the bell rang, you know, and not only that, but she could have flown right to the keep and just kind of taken care of her right away. So her thing was, I just want to burn all these people right now. Again, it feels like we missed a bunch of character development in between something and something. I got to say, like uh, the, the shit that really bothered me the most, I think, is the timeline that was going on. It used to take like an entire season to get from one city to the other city. Yeah, and then everybody's now, warping now. Now they're just bouncing around the entire continent like willy nilly, and you can time it because of Cersei's belly. She was not showing the entire freaking time, from <laughs> like when Jamie left to <laughs> right. when he came back. It's like what's going on, dude? Like that can't be the case. That what it all took place in less than two months. Dude, I forgot she was pregnant. <laughs> I thought she I was faking. Forgot. Yeah, that didn't now, end up going anywhere it now, went under, in, under some bricks 
<laughs> in the last episode where she's uh, looking out the window, or sorry, ne- next to last episode where she's just looking out the window, is she drinking a glass of wine? She was with Euron Greyjoy in the episode where he nailed those boots. Oh, my God. That's, that's an irresponsible mother, I think. <laughs> so uh, I just want to gloat. My prediction of Drogon fucking the Red Keep up and melting the throne came true. I was very happy. I did nice. a happy dance. <laughs> it was probably the coolest scene of all time, too, man. Like, watching him just lose his shit like that. They did such a yeah. good job with those dragons, man. My suspension of disbelief is locked in. Why do you think Drogon didn't kill Jon? The Targaryens are rumored, or all Valerians are rumored to be, like, part dragon and actually have a psychic connection with dragons. That's why Drogon knew that Danny was was got killed and came to her because they they connected john being the male heir wouldn't he have like a connection possibility yes it's i I think that's sort of what they were implying yeah Um, it it definitely seemed like danny had some sort of you know magical psychic link with her dragons and and that john was sort of in on that in in a small way too so yeah i don't know it's hard to say maybe if if (laughs) if drogon had seen john stab her directly maybe he would have been more pissed or maybe he was sort of like, oh, like it's okay, you're a friend too, John. Uh, I thought I thought John was maybe a goner. I was, I was like, this is fifty fifty. Yeah. <laughs> this is where how yeah. John goes out, eaten yeah. by dragon. John becomes I, dragon glass. <laughs> it would. I, I don't know. I think it would have been cool if uh, Drogon tried to burn him and then he couldn't be burned. I heard would've that theory, but John's been burned before, so gonorrhea. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's, he slept with the wildling. Uh, there's actually a deleted scene when they get to that waterfall where John tells Danny that he could hear Regal in his head. So dragons are super smart, right? I feel like maybe that Drogon had felt Danny's like madness in his head, and that's why he melted the throne because that is what caused all the madness that she was going through. I think I think what happened is that uh, Bran got into Drogon's mind and wanted to create a wheelchair ramp. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. He warged his ass. <laughs> so, all right, now we're in the dragon pit. Tyrion comes out with uh, Grey Worm. Everybody's, like, chilling. You got a bunch of extras. Nobody knows who the fuck they are. That guy from Dorne, like, who the hell is that dude? <laughs> like, there's, like, another dude on the side, who's the beard. Who the hell is that guy? You got yeah. Sweet Robin. He's back, but he's, like, all grown up and shit. Dude, that, that titty milk did him good, man. He looks <laughs> he looks good. He, he's so tall now. Did you think that was necessary, though? I mean... I felt like the whole symbolism of burning the fucking throne was to say that, you know, the monarchy is dead. And then they go and fucking elect a king. Yeah, when, when Drogon burned the, the throne, I thought that's what it was saying. Like, okay, the seven kingdoms are, are over as one united you know, monarchy. They'll, they'll probably split up now and whatever. But uh, I guess they decided to stick together. Why not? Tyrion's t- technically running the country. So with Davos and, uh, and Sam. That's the thing about Bran becoming king. You know, I didn't see any of the leaks, except that I saw the Vegas betting odds had Bran way up top. And I was like, okay, clearly someone leaked something. Otherwise, how's that going to happen? But yeah, um, yeah, it it works out well because he's uh, sort of a chill dude. And he's going to let, you know, Tyrion and the council run things and have some peace. I just wish he was a more likable character, you know, throughout so much of his recent arc. He's just been very bland, very boring. So it's like yeah. no one cheered when they elected him. Everyone was like, oh, come on. They shouldn't call him Bran the Broken. They should call him Bran the Turnip. <laughs> like he literally Jeez. has no emotion. <laughs> well, in the show, every time he's about to tell the st- a story, he they cut away. You know, there's there's the part where John is in the woods with the sisters, and he tells he says, Bran, you know, tell him. Tell him about me. And then it yeah. cuts. There's this other scene where Tyrion goes to visit him, and he goes, oh, I bet you're an interesting guy with an interesting story. Mm. But we never see that story. It just immediately cuts away. And I think we needed that in order to Mm. sort of, I don't know, maybe like Bran a little bit more, and maybe we would have been a little bit happier. It would have been really awesome, and they wasted the opportunity to have like at least one episode of those flashbacks mainly focusing on what the Targaryens did with their dragons, like burning Harrenhal, like the conquest of Dorne, you know, mm-hmm. where they really lost their shit. Because then when Danny did it, it wouldn't have been like, what the fuck, you know? The Night's Watch, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Oh, yeah. I laughed so hard when, when Tyrion was like, well, you're going back, going back to the Night's Watch. But he doesn't even go to the Night's Watch. He just leaves with the, he goes north with the Wildlings, right? Or... Yeah, or that's no. what they made it look like. The only one I actually really, really liked the ending to was Arya, like taking her badass to some like magical land uh, over the over the sunset sea. You know, 
Like, yeah. I, I would want to see that fucking show. <laughs> like, I want to see your kick some yeah. ass. If you had an alternate ending, what would it be? Uh man, just give it to the give it to the Night King. Let him take over the world and erase humans. Honestly, I think that would have been just a really creepy, sad ending, and just that's it. You know, the world is over. Um, I would have liked to have seen uh, maybe the alternate right when when Danny and John embraced before he killed her, and he was like, "I'll always, you'll always be my queen." Uh, do an alternate reality uh, right there where he's like, you know what? Actually, Danny, I'm with you. Like, let's go dark side together and just conquer the world. Oh, be shit. dragon lords. Uh, that would have been that would have been depressing, but um, you know, pretty pretty cool. Any more depressing than it already was, though? I don't think it could. <laughs> 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 Maybe not. My alternate ending would be uh, so Drogon obviously uh, had something going on with John there. It would have been cool if he scooped up Danny. John hopped on his back, and they just all left into the mist above the ocean, going east, never to be heard from again. Mystery, legend, all that stuff. I'd have been really like happy with that one, man. In yeah, fact, I like that too. I thought that was what was going to happen for a second. Sorry, I but... that one. Fuck you, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> you heard? You guys heard that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of the deaths that really bothered me the most was Cersei's death. We I, I, we were always thinking, man, who's going to kill her? How are they going to kill her? And she just got the most sympathetic death. And Tyrion finds them in full embrace under the rocks. I really don't think she deserved that. I think, I don't know, man. I was waiting for something a little bit, a little bit crazier, a little bit more brutal. Yeah, she lost yeah. everything really quickly. You know, yeah. we mentioned before that like Euron's story was pointless and uh, Golden Company. All that has been built up to make it seem like it was going to be a fair fight. You know, going into the battle at King's Landing, I was like, you know, actually, I don't know. Cersei's got a good shot. She's got all these ballistas now. Yeah. But um, no, it was all just destroyed easily. So that was, yeah, that was kind of a letdown. She only got killed by like three bricks. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> it's little things like that. You know, you uh, Tyrion walks into the room and it's all clear except for the one pile of bricks. Yeah. <laughs> where standing. They just had to stand a little bit to the left. It would have been okay. I know it's a TV show and you got to, you know, you got to just, um, you know, they can cheat a little bit, but still it looks, it looks a little silly. <laughs> when, I think uh, people even thought that uh, they were still alive for some reason. I was worried he was, Jamie was going to claw his way out. <laughs> yeah. Be like, no, we're good. Uh, I love the opening of this final episode where, you know, we're coming in to see Daenerys from an outside perspective. And it's like her Dothraki are these like barbarians barbarians and the unsullied you know they, they look kind of scary in their full armor just like yeah. standing motionless and that scene where danny walks up and the dragon wings behind her that was awesome that that was a famous shot that's yeah. gonna be awesome <laughs> dude that whole even the the far away wide shot of the whole thing with her flag on the wall and drogon up on the other mm -hmm. wall that shit was sick you can't argue with the cinematography in this no Sentinels. man it was amazing and the yeah. acting cinematography acting yeah. music everything yeah. was amazing it was on point man so how many people are gonna cancel their hbo now <laughs> i'm not because i want prediction? dark materials and watchmen's coming out too man there's no way yeah, they, they did a good job right when the episode ended. You know, we're yeah. all sitting there. We were excited for uh, yeah. inside the episode or something. And they're just like, no, no, wait. We're doing Golden Compass. It's going to yeah. be sweet. <laughs> and it's like, don't cancel HBO. Yeah. Man, I was I was excited to see the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, I know. I normally do. Amelia Clark. Have you shot your final scenes yet? And are you happy with how things ended? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't say yes. You didn't say yes. Best season ever! <laughs> Her interviews have been so funny. She's been <laughs> shitting on this last season. Kit for Harrington, months. dude. Kit Harrington, when he's like disappointing. <laughs> if you could describe the season finale of Game of Thrones in one word, how would you describe it? Disappointing. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> he instantly knew he fucked up, dude, and tried to yeah. take it back. He like reaches out to like no, tap, epic. tap. <laughs> I think what he meant was epically disappointing. <laughs> no epic. I don't epic. know. One of those ones. Two words. We got two words. Disappointing yeah. and epic. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was too. It was a disappointing ending. Yeah, you know, it was. It's, the Tyrion said that line. No one's really happy, and that's how you know it's a good compromise. And that's sort of a meta line, I think, about the ending. It's like no one wanted Bran to be king. You know, no. Did John had to kill Daenerys? He had to be exiled. It's like, oh, well, this is, I guess, how it's gotta be. 
Well, I'm super excited for the prequels, although I think they're in a uh, gray area right now. I'm not really sure what HBO is going to do after all this backlash. I mean, you think they're still going to go f- ahead with these freaking... Some, something's going to happen, man. I, you can't have over a million signatures and nothing happen. Obviously, they're not going to remake this last season. No. But there has to be some sort of backlash to this. It's, it's, it's out there too much. It's on every news... People, mm-hmm. so many news stations already. I think it definitely damaged the amount of prequels we were going to get. I think the one that they're going to release now, uh, and again, I'm not sure, but I heard it was like something that takes place either 100 years before or 5,000 years before. The one they're shooting right now is 5,000 to 8,000 years prior. Okay. Oh, so. man. So that's going to be like, that's going to be uh, original Long Night, you know, the creation yeah. of the White Walkers. I, it's, I think it's called the Long Night. And, okay, uh, that might be it might be pretty sweet. I'll I'll yeah. check it out. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this final right. Game of Thrones episode. Thank you, JJ from down in Miami. Thank you, man of recaps from all the way over in the desert of America, Arizona. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, William, for yourself right here in Boca Raton. Thank you, William. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. The bell is really important because you won't know I put up a video unless you ring that bell. And uh, hit up our merch section. I know you want to. There's some cool Game of Thrones stuff in there, and there's a big old hell mouth with a bunch of demons coming out of it. You Ooh. really want that one. That's the one you really Give want. Give it. They come in large? They come in all sizes. You can even get it in hot pink. Oh, sweet. That way you can match all the other people down there in Miami. Roll when up was your, the last time you were in Miami? Roll up your freaking uh, sport coat sleeves. Pet your alligator. <laughs> this is, are you talking about Miami Vice? Yeah. I'm picturing rollerblades <laughs> when I picture Miami. All right, guys. It's going to do it. Peace. Winter is go. Yeah, let me say right, right now on Miss Cast Entertainment. That's it. Should I do a chair spin? I love yeah. the chair spin. I'll bring it back. All right, here we go. Nope, I hit, I hit my desk. <laughs> Welcome back, you Miscast Miscreants, to another episode of Miscast Entertainment. And this is the final season of the and the final episode of Game of Thrones. Let's just get right into it with some host names. Let's do that <laughs> How about we do that again? <laughs> yeah. The fans' revolt as Dan and Dave breathed dragon fire all over the expectations of the masses. But was it really that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Now that Game of Thrones is over, what am I going to do? I was going to start recapping like The Bachelor. <laughs> oh, shit. Get into a whole new market. <laughs> <laughs>